people should put in effort and i think the effort should be channelized i think i channelized through the speed app i really want to thank uh, speed sir to be honest sir i have not read anything apart from speed uh, only that i have read in that way it saved me lot of times i think my journey through this have been made easy by speed sir so i'll have to thank you i bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of the team of speed and faculty members of speed to dr kalpana udupa for scoring a rank number 1 in mch obg group in neat ss 2024 session which happened on 29th and 30th march of 2025 congratulations to you for uh, for thank a great achievement thank you so much sir great doctor it couldn't have been i think my journey through this have been made easy by your speech as well i'll have to thank you people for that welcome doctor most welcome and uh, can we know uh, your brief background from where you started till date what all you have done from there we can uh, sir uh, uh, i did my ug from uh, esi medical college rajajinagar bangalore sir from 2012 batch sir then 2019 i joined my obg Uh, ms in uh, assam medical college dibrugar uh, after finishing my obg uh, in 2022 i finished my uh, ms and i gave uh, neat ss for the first time immediately after uh, finishing the pg that time i got somewhere uh, uh, 204 or 206 rank something i had gotten sir that time and uh, next i joined there was a compulsory service there in assam so i joined as an sr there in a medical college lakhimpur medical college and uh, after during my senior residency also i tried preparing but uh, i had not taken any subscription of uh, any coaching apps at that time uh, i tried that self preparing uh, thing didn't work out well i didn't get time also to study so much so i got uh, a rank of uh, 76 or something uh, last time so I, i don't remember somewhere in 70s i got the rank and then uh, this time i uh, subscribed the first feed uh, in the month of june sir last okay. year uh, i am working currently i am working in uh, subaya institute of medical science as assistant professor sir uh, so i subscribed for speed in the month of uh, june 2024 and uh, okay. from then i have been working through speed sir <laughs> so i mean uh, why mch I mean in mch what do you want to do you are going to do uh, oncology or reproductive medicine gynecology sir gynecology it's been my dream throughout i mean the dream when it started uh, i mean is it from the first year of your ms obg or even before that I mean or during the completion oh. can you share on that in first year of my obg only sir in our college we we were not uh, attached to any cancer care centers there so in our college uh, all our professors used to operate uh, all the onco cases sir even we used to maintain their chemo books also as a pg so i think uh, in first year of my residency only i think i was uh, attracted towards to begin with i like gynec more than obstetrics and uh, i think in gynec also i was more uh, partial towards gynec onco since beginning because of that sir no cases were referred to cancer care centers uh, it was all dealt in our uh, college only so probably that might have uh, led me yeah. for this yeah so once you decided to do so then you started giving these exams and you want to give this exam and you want to uh, come up in a good institute for your gynec oncology and ch now what were the difference that you are able to find that two years i think you did a self preparation and then the finally you switched okay is not going to work we need to do something more than this mm-hmm. and you switched on to learning as i mean a systematic module wise uh, learning in in what way it makes a difference that before two exams and this exam that I mean from 70s it went to number 1 from anyway it was doing good actually the first year you were somewhere around 200 i believe 200. yeah Uh, yes, sir. and then it, it went it came down to 70 and it was good actually and the progression from 70 straight to 1 I mean uh, I mean probably you also know the mature I mean, the maturity is also there we know what it is all about then you have worked on to that I mean can you share something on that area I mean so that will help people to improve this course sir uh, uh, to begin with sir in pg uh, i used to read all good books sir like uh, williams berek and uh, nomax hacker all these good books recommended textbooks only i have read so with that confidence only i gave 
my exams uh, for the first time but uh, somewhere i felt these mcqs should be dealt in a different way but uh, during my senior residency again i was short of time uh, it was too hectic duties there so i i didn't get uh, time so much to prepare this time sir i was decided sir to be very honest um, some people my my colleagues also have asked me what else you have read what else you have read to be honest sir i have not read anything apart from speed uh, this thing uh, coaching whatever they have provided the material uh, only that i have read and uh, whatever the questions uh, i used to uh, miss it up or uh, some somewhere i am getting a doubt in some specific topics i used to go back to the text so i had all the pdf formats of uh, those uh, textbooks in my uh, tablet so i used to refer those uh, particular topics in that way it saved me lot of time sir uh, i think whatever uh, the material given in the speed no sir it is very concise and it is on point last year sir when i attended my exam i really thought this time i am going to get through because uh, i felt like some of the questions whichever i had written i felt i am right but then when the results came i was very much depressed thinking that where did i go wrong then once i started uh, taking the coaching classes uh, the speed coaching uh, i started taking i started to identify the loopholes like where we are uh, supposed to focus i didn't know exactly where to focus sir. that was the problem i felt and uh, this times a lot of mcqs i think uh, not a single question i have left in your app also i have done all <laughs> subject wise topic wise grant test whatever uh, was available i have done it some few mcq books also i had ordered through online those things also i have attempted so every time i used to go wrong with the mcqs then i used to go back for that particular topic and i used to try to correct myself like where i have gone wrong so i think that made me assess mcqs in a better way probably mostly <laughs> i think so great i i still think i might have got it with a fluke also i don't know <laughs> <laughs> no it doesn't doesn't happen that way doesn't happen that way i'll tell you how it happens i'll tell you and before that i mean last exam when you gave Uh, you thought you were in in a topmost rank, yeah. and you ended up in seventy. Now you gave this exam, and what was uh, your kind of an expectation or feeling after giving the exam? What did you think? No, of? This time, I think every day, sir. Uh, grossly, uh, in some platforms and all, uh, there were some discussions and all were happening. No, sir. In that platforms, through that, I could assess. I could recall around uh, at least some somewhere around some hundred questions. I could recall, sir. in that only i had gotten four to five wrongs mistakes i had already gotten so i i was chickened out this time like i already i have gotten four five mistakes <laughs> i think i have no hopes like that i had already decided that in my mind then somewhere uh, somewhere i felt like uh, if i have evaluated myself up to almost near 100 questions uh, then an another 50 questions maximum it may go wrong around another 10 may go wrong or uh, i might still have a chance one one of my mind was telling that and another mind was telling no you don't have any hopes this time also so i so was so rank number 1 was not in your mind rank number 1 was not in your mind <laughs> never sir it was not there in my mind i was hoping that somewhere if i am getting within 10 i will be having uh, a good chance to get a gana conco mchc it was my thing sir somewhere when i was comparing uh, with the last year uh, uh, mark sheet and all uh, people had gotten uh, within 10 and all around like with a score of some 460 450 also they had gotten like good ranks so i was calculating in that way i'm like i should not be bad than this i i should get within 10 at least something like that somewhere i was expecting sir so yesterday when the results came for the rank number 1 <laughs> how, how it was <laughs> i had been believe i was on i was on duty here actually in my okay. hospital is then there so i didn't believe sir probably i might have checked some 10 15 times whether it is my roll number okay. whether it is exactly my roll number finally <laughs> see this this you I mean we have been discussing how rank number 1 happens or top rank happens top rank yes. doesn't happen by luck top, top rank always happens by a thorough dedication I mean it is a 3 years of your hard work in this final day and 
when you have been consistent enough trying 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 and just giving that and all this matters the, the number of hours the dedication all that matters and becomes one consolidated version of one's effort of compared to the other effort overall and finally it is given us like a final day like a judgment and and that was uh, it's all only because of you i'll tell you we are all only other factors or elements around you and this happened because of you wanted to do it I mean nothing else I mean this is for you also and for people who are watching this video also I mean one who determines they want they achieve it and they kind of pull in all those resources from here and their time this kind of a material and all this and finally they accomplish their dream that's what it happens and that's what it has also happened for you as well and you are the only person responsible for this and no one else no sir i I, I really want to thank uh, Speed Sir. It's a very Revati ma'am sir. <laughs> and other faculties are also very good. But uh, most of the topics are dealt by Dr. Revati ma'am. That's why I'm taking her name. Yes. Very uh, amazingly she has dealt with the topics. And she gives exactly, she focuses on the points where we are bound to go wrong sir. Like when... The two options which look very much similar, she says, why, why, where are you going wrong, is what she stresses it on. That, that, that helps very much, sir. I think everybody puts in effort, sir. If somebody, after uh, PG, if somebody is trying to take exam, nobody will just go and write, no, sir. Everybody will be trying to focus, trying to dedicate, something they will be doing. But I think... That knack of uh, handling the MCQs, that, to ta tackle that MCQs, that is some other skill probably. And uh, I thank Steve for that. I think that that uh, knack to tackle that MCQ probably was uh, purely by speed, sir. That uh, that I have to tell, sir. Yeah, and yeah. yes, sir, I have been, um, I made notes out of all the video lectures uh, which were available. I think, sir, I might have revised five times, sir. Five times I, I have revised uh, my notes and uh, it was all color-coded and all. <laughs> and this was all taught by Revati, ma'am, by the way. <laughs> like how to remember things and all. So, some five times I have revised it. And every day, I, I am working also, no, sir. So, every day uh, I try to dedicate some two to three hours minimum uh, to for the preparation. And on the holidays, I used to stretch it for uh, more time. And uh, last uh, some uh, three weeks, I had taken leave from my work, sir, to just to sit straight and uh, study. I mean, I mean, uh, great. We could see. I mean, you are happy. <laughs> <laughs> and this, I mean, this kind of dream. this kind of your dream just come true. We could visualize uh, that uh, you are happy, and I mean, all that. I'll tell you this kind of a. Uh, uh, kind of a moment comes once in a lifetime that yes. you top the entire nation. I mean, I mean, it counts in the entire country. You stand out and say, this is what it's all about. And I'm here. So that is a time for you and the moment for you. I think you need a great celebration. And definitely people around you will also be very happy to celebrate it. And we wish you. And before that, we want to ask you uh, two more questions before we conclude. And a uh, number of questions you attended in this exam. Sir, I attended 146 questions, sir. Four questions I left, sir. I think um, I had decided if I can rule out two options at least, I will take a, try and attempt that question was in the back of my mind. So the thing, the questions which I really had no clue, I didn't uh, try to attempt, sir. Four questions I had left, sir. 146 questions I had attended. What is the message that you want to give to the future aspirants of uh, MCH Kinec Oncology? Sir, uh, I am an average student, sir. It's not that I am a very bright student or uh, very uh, successful student from beginning or something. Nothing, sir. If I can do it, everybody can do it. So I think it's just that uh, people should put in effort. And I think the effort should be channelized. And uh, I think I channelized through the speed app. And uh, it clicked for me, sir. Doctor, so I am very Please go, please go ahead. So, so for all the aspirants, who, whoever uh, wants to crack this exam, I think consistency, effort and in a proper channel is important, I guess, sir.
Doctor, before I conclude, I want to ask you a question. What's the difference between an average student and a bright student? I mean, I, I mean, I, I didn't get it actually. I mean, I also used this technology often. That I am not some somebody who, who is gifted with intelligence or something like that. I am not somebody like that, sir. Of course, I have worked hard, sir. Consistently, I have read every day. That's what I meant. Like, <laughs> I am not somebody who is very brilliant and bright from the beginning. Even without any work, I can get through things like that. I am. I, I was never a, such a student, sir, actually. You are actually. <laughs> you are. Because I'll tell you. See, the application of knowledge is one of the most important area where you have to apply your intelligence. See, acquisition of knowledge, anybody can do it. Acquisition of knowledge from various sources. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just taking your time. Acquisition of knowledge can happen anywhere, anytime and at the convenience. But with the application of knowledge, it is a time tester. There's only two hours or three hours where you need to, what all you acquired, you need to apply on that. I mean, without pulling out the kind of a string in the, I mean, on that spot and that, I mean, without kind of an uh, intelligence, it's not possible. And uh, I mean, to, uh, to uh, I mean, always as a medico, we always say that you not be very intelligent that to be a doctor. You always, as you rightly said, you've been always dedicated to be a sincere doctor and a good doctor. That's what I think uh, you have meant, actually. That's what I believe also. And uh, great. I mean, once again, I want to wish you uh, all the best. And before we conclude, the time to thank, time to thank whom all you want to thank that you have helped your career from day one till date and what you are today. Uh, sir, I would like to thank my uh, PG Institute, Asa Medical College uh, and Hospital Dibrugar, my OBG department, especially my guide, who used to operate all sorts of cases and from whom I got this interest and uh, my family, unwavering support, sir. Like whatever I say, they never say no for it. Uh, and uh, my colleagues. Of course, they made my life easy here. Uh, they, they, they used to, like, if if they see me panicking that I am spending so much time here and I am not able to uh, read, they, yeah. they used to be, okay, give me your work. You go. <laughs> <laughs> that, like, that kind of uh, uh, accommodation uh, they, they provided for me, actually. So, my colleagues here in Subaya Institute of Medical Science, I just want to thank all of them, sir, and uh, all the more to the Almighty who has actually, I think, provided me more than what I deserve, probably. Very good, Doctor. We once again congratulate you, wish you all the very best and all the success for a great and a wonderful career that is awaiting you, uh, MCH Gynecology. And uh, we believe and we always look forward that they're going to inspire us always throughout your career and keep doing it. And best wishes once again to you. All the very best. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you.